Heidi ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here today. Hey folks, we are doing some demolition today and I wanted to point this out to you. It might be something that you've never seen before. You see these wires hanging down here? This is something I've already cut, but this house was built in the 1960s and it had what they called sealant heat, okay? Bring the camera up here, you can see that there's two layers of sheetrock and on this one I've actually got one piece here to let go and you can see these electrical wires here that are stapled, running back and forth, back and forth, and stapled onto the first uh, layer of sheetrock or drywall. Okay. So what they did, I evidently back in the day, they put up one layer of uh, sheetrock, and then they put mud on it or glue or whatever they did after they put the wire down, and then they put another layer of sheetrock, and then they done the finishing work on that and done a uh, popcorn ceiling on there. But we're having to tear the ceiling down in this whole room today because we had a water leak a few months ago from some plumbing upstairs. All that's been repaired now. But we're going to tear the ceiling down in this whole room here and just replace it with you know one layer of drywall and we're gonna mud it and sand it and then we'll just finish it with a painted white ceiling. Now, if you ever run into this, guys, make sure you disconnect the power on this because you don't want this zapping you. I don't know if it's run, I believe it's run on 110. Yeah, one circuit was, but I found another uh, section in the house that actually had 220 running to it. But we went ahead and checked it at the controller over here. We flipped breakers until we had all this cut off. And when we're done here, we're probably gonna go ahead and remove that breaker from the power box just so no one will ever go back and try to flip that back on. So guys, that's what we're working on today. And I'm gonna set up the camera and we're gonna give you the little speedy version of me tearing down this ceiling today. So I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned. Okay guys, that was the fun part, buddy. I love doing that, destruction, demolition. Take a look up here at the uh, ceiling. As you can see, we've got about half of this room taken care of now, but we gotta stop and take a little break and come down here to the floor. As you can see, we got a pile of debris laying down here, but luckily it is on top of the tarp. We're gonna hand carry all this stuff out to the trailer, and then we'll finish taking down the rest of the ceiling.
All right, guys, hey, we've got all the old sheetrock down off the ceiling now. Uh, we got to put the rest of it on the trailer here, and we're going to call this little part complete for today. And we'll have to get back in here another day and uh, clean up all the nails and everything. And we're going to order up our sheetrock and get it here so we can uh, hang it up and start mudding. Maybe we'll make another video for that on a different day. But uh, I will tell you this, I actually got smart on the second half here. I decided to try to peel the one piece off of there first and it actually come off pretty good. And then I, as you see, I was able to rip all that wiring down uh, before I ever started pulling off that the upper piece that was actually attached to the floor joist. So that seemed to work a little bit easier. So we kind of learned as we went on this project. It's the first time I've ever done this. So uh, anyway, uh, that, there you go, a video on a ceiling with pre-existing ceiling heat a thing of the 60s it must not have really been that great of an idea because i don't think they done it too long or too very long after that anyway but anyway have a great day don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we will see you next time take care